square A has side lengths that are 166 times the side lengths of square B. The area of square A is k times the square area of square B. What is the value of k? Okay, so we have, let's say, this square is square B. And it has side lengths of, say, x. And then we have square A whose side lengths are 166 times the side lengths of square B. So the length of the side of this square is 166 times this length of square B's sides. And the area of square K A is equal to K times this area of square B. So we'll just say the area of square B is Y. So we'll say it's KY. Okay. What is the value of k? So we need to find out this constant right here that relates the area of square A with the area of square B. So we know that the area of square B is just going to be x squared. So that's going to be y. And we know that the area of square A is just going to be 166x squared. Now if we simplify this, we'll get that 166 squared times x squared is the area of square A. So area of A, this square. And that this area of B is just x squared. So if we find the value of this constant here, 166 squared, this x squared is in both, and so this is just the value of k. This will be the coefficient of x squared, which is the area of b. So k will just be this coefficient. So we just need to square 166. So we can do that in our calculator. So 166 times 166, which is just equal to 2,700. Uh, 27,556. So this is the area of A. And we can see that this giant coefficient here is the value of K since it's in front of or being multiplied with the, va the area of B. And the problem statement said that the area of A, which is the whole term, this whole term, is k times the area of b. And the area of b is just this x squared. So the coefficient of the area of b is equal to k. So the answer is just 2,757,556.